Hello students, welcome to Learn Guru classes. Today's video is all about applications of UTH division lemma where we will be provided with some statements and you want to prove that statement. So for every question, first of all, we will be taking some examples and we will try to analyze the statement with those examples. After that, we will go to the main sum or the solution where we will be applying Euclid's division lemma. So, I assure you that after watching the video, your concepts about Euclid's division lemma will be very clear. So, with this note, let's begin our class. The first question is, show that every positive even integer is of the form twice m and that every positive odd integer is of the form twice m plus 1 where m is some positive integer. So, before going into the solution to this problem, let us try to understand some preliminary concepts which you have already studied in your lower classes like what is an even number. even number. So, what is an even number? Any number that is known to everybody. Any number that is divisible by 2, okay, is called an even number. So, divisible by 2 means remainder is 0. Remainder is 0 is called an even number. Now, example of even number are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 are examples of even numbers. Okay. Odd numbers, just the opposite. Any number that is not divisible by 2 is called an odd number. So, means when the remainder is not 0 is odd number. Examples are 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on are examples of odd number. Okay. So, let us take and select any number from even numbers like 4 and 5 from odd numbers. Okay. And just try to uh, just test it whether it satisfies Euclid's division lemma or Euclid's division lemma can be applied here or not. Okay. So, here let us take A equals to 4 and B equals to 2. Okay. Here let us take A equals to 5 and B equals to 2. Okay. So, A divided by B that is 4 divided by 2 if I do 4, 2 to the 4. So, remainder comes as 0. So, of course, this is the quotient, this is the remainder, this is the dividend and this is the divisor. So, according to Euclid's division lemma A equals to BQ plus R. So, B is 2 over here and Q is 2 over here plus R is 0. So, that is 4. So, it gives us 4. Okay. So, any number and from that we can say that any even number can be represented in the form of twice Q. Okay. So, let us come to this example where A equals to 5 and B equals to 2. So, 5 divided by 2 gives me 2 to the 4 and the remainder is 1. So, A equals to 2 into Q that is 2 plus 1 where this is quotient, this is the remainder, this is the divide, di, uh, dividend and this is the divisor. So, this is 5. Okay. So, any number if you try to generalize the odd numbers, we can say that odd numbers can be represented in the form of twice Q plus 1 and even numbers can be represented in the form of twice Q. Okay. So, now let us come to the main solution. So, it is given that show that every positive integer is of the form twice m 
and that every positive integer is of the form twice m plus 1 where n is some positive integer. Okay, so let us take any integer to be n. So let n be any positive integer. Okay, so if we divide, so if we divide n by 2, okay, let m be the quotient and r be the remainder. Okay, so if I divide, that is if I divide n by 2, I will get m as the quotient and r as the remainder. So, we can apply Euclid's division lemma here. So, according to Euclid's division lemma, we can write n equals to twice m plus r. Okay, so r can be any number according to the condition of Euclid's division lemma r the value of r can be either 0 or less than the value of the divisor. So, what is the divisor over here? 2. So, either r has to be 0 or any number that is less than 2. So, the possible values of r will be 0 and 1, okay. So, under this case, under this condition, there will be two cases. So, under this case 1, when r equal to 0, when r equal to 0, that is n equals to twice m. So, under this condition, uh, when r is equal to 0, that is remainder is equal to 0, means you are uh, dividing 2 by some even number, right? You are getting an even, when remainder comes out to be 0 or even number, you get, okay? So, n equals to twice m, okay? So, here we can say that n is an even number. Okay, and the second condition is case 2, that is r equals to 1. So, if I apply here, Euclid TV put the value of 1, so twice m plus 1. So, r, you are getting the remainder as 1, means this is an n is an odd number. So, from that we can say that n is an odd number. So, any number that is represented in the form of n equal to twice m, it will be an even number and any number that can be represented in the form of n equal to twice m plus 1, so that will be an odd number. The second sum is prove that m square plus n is divisible by 2 for any positive integer n. So, let, let's take some uh, simple example, okay, and try to understand the statement first, then we will go to the proof, okay. So, this is just for explanation purpose. So, let's take n, we will take two values of n, okay. One value of n will be an even number and the other value of n will be an odd number, okay. So, let's, let's check whether n square plus n yield us an even number or an odd number, odd number. So, in case of n equals to 2, let's write 2 square plus 2, that is 4 plus 2, that is 6. So, if you divide 6 by 2, will give you the remainder as 0. So, we can say that 6 is an even number, that is, it is divisible by Clear? So, now let us take n equal to 5 and see n square plus n. So, n square plus n, 5 square plus 5 
that is 25 plus 5 that is 30. So, if we divide 30 by 2, so it gives us the remainder as 0. So, we can say that this is an even number. So, from here it is clear that if we take any value of n, either n can be an even number or n can be an odd number. So, every time n square plus n will give us an even number or a number that is divisible by 2. So, once this is clear, let us go to the statement and try to prove it. So, prove that n square plus n is divisible by 2 for any positive integer n. So, divisible by 2 clearly it indicates that n square plus n is an even number or not that you have to prove. Okay. So, uh, we will write that when we come to the solution, we will write that n can be of the form twice m or twice m plus 1. Okay. So, case 1, let us check when we do n equals to twice m. So, n equal to twice m, it is of the form of any even number. Right. So, let us check n square plus n that is twice m whole square plus twice m. So, if I take twice m as common, so I will get twice m plus 1. So, just we can replace this m into twice m plus 1 by r. So, we can directly write twice r. So, of course, twice r any number that is multiplied by 2 will give us an even number. So, this is an even number. Okay. So, n when n equal to twice m n square plus n is divisible by 2. Okay. So, let us check the second case that is case 2, case 2 is when n equals to twice m plus 1, okay. So, n square plus n, if we write, we will write twice m plus 1 whole square plus twice m plus 1. So, twice m plus 1 we can take as common. So, twice m plus 1 plus 1. So, 2 into m plus 1 into twice m plus 1. So, this can be replaced as m plus 1 into twice m plus 1 as s. So, this can be written as twice s. Okay. So, this number is also an even number. You are getting according to the form of the number. So, we can write, I am just writing over here that when n equals to twice m plus 1, n square plus n is an odd, uh, is an, sorry, is an even number. So, hence proved, the statement is proved that whether n is any positive integer, either it can be an odd num integer or in even integer, in any case, when we do n square plus n, the value that we get, that number is divisible by 2. The third sum is show that any positive integer is of the form 3q or 3q plus 1 or 3q plus 2 for some integer q. Okay. So, let us come directly into the solution. Okay. So, let n be any positive integer. Okay. Let n be any positive integer. So, on dividing, 
on dividing n by 3, we get q as the quotient and r as the remainder. Okay, so let's check by Euclid's division lemma according to Euclid's division lemma. Euclid's division lemma, we can write A equals to BQ plus R, where A is the dividend, B is the divisor, Q is the quotient, and R is the remainder. Okay, so in our case, what is the dividend? Dividend is n and what is the divisor? Divisor is 3. Okay, so n equals to, we can write 3q plus r. So, what are the possible values of r that we can get? We can get these values of r. That is, the values of r will be lying between 0, 1 and 2. So, these 0, 1 and 2 are the possible values of r. Okay. So, when r equals to 0, we get n equals to 3q. When r equals to 1, we get n equals to 3q plus 1. And when r equals to 2, we get the value of n as 3q plus 2, okay. So, n can be either an even number or can be an odd number, whatever be the number that any positive integer can be represented in the form of 3q or 3q plus 1 or 3q plus 2. So, we can write therefore, any positive integer positive integer can be of the form 3q or 3q plus 1 or 3q plus 2 so hence root the next sum is show that every positive odd integer is of the form 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3 for some integer q. So, before going into the statement, let us take three numbers, okay, and thus and let us check whether it satisfies this statement or not, okay. So, uh, let us take three numbers 17, 19 and 26. So, from these numbers, you can say that 17 is an odd number, 19 is an odd number and 26 is an even number. Now, let us use, ap uh, apply, divide these numbers by 4 and try to apply Euclid's division lemma. Okay. So, 17 divided by 4 if I do. So, 4 4 is 16. So, you get the remainder as 1. So, this acts as the dividend, this is the divisor, this is the quotient and this is the remainder. So, dividend equals to, according to Euclid's division lemma, divisor into quotient plus remainder. So, we have the divisor is 4 quotient as 4 and remainder as 1. So, you are getting 17 as the uh, answer or as the dividend. So, it satisfies this particular expression satisfies Euclid's division lemma. This 17 by 4, if I do, it, it will be according to the Euclid division lemma, you will get the dividend. Now, 19, which is an odd number, we will divide it by 4. So, 4 fourths are 16. So, remainder is 
3. So, this is the quotient, this is the remainder, this is the divisor and of course, this is the dividend. So, according to Euclid's division lemma, if I do di into q plus r, so that is di is 4 into 4 plus 3, that is 19. So, 19 is equal to the dividend. Okay. Now, let us take the even number that is 26 by 4. So, 26, 4, 6 or 24 and the remainder comes out to be 2. So, this is the quotient, this is the remainder and this is the divisor. So, divisor into quotient plus remainder. So, divisor is 4 into 6 plus 2 that is 26 that is the dividend. Okay. Now, the important thing to note here is let us look at the nature of the uh, nature of this Euclid's expression okay, or the this expression. If you see over here 4 into 4 plus 1 remainder is an odd number right. Here also in for this expression that is 19 for this number that is 19 you are getting the remainder as 3 and for this even number 26 you are getting the remainder as 2 which is an odd uh, which is an even number so can we say that for an even number we get the remainder also as even for the number 26 and for an odd number, if you divide it by 4, it will always get the remainder as an odd number. As in this case, 17 was the number. You were dividing it by 4 and ultimately you are getting the uh, remainder to be an odd number. 19 was the number which is an odd number and when you have divided it by 4, you got the remainder to be an odd number. So, from that we can say that any positive odd integer can be represented in the form as if we try to generalize this, we can write this as or if we want to generalize this, we can write it as 4q plus 1 and 4q plus 3 and this one you can write it as 4q plus 2. So, for any odd number you, or when you divide it by 4, you will be getting this expression where the remainder is odd. Okay. So, once you have understood the, uh, the logic behind this statement, so let us move to the proof. So, here we will be taking any number, okay. So, let, let n be any positive odd integer because for positive odd integer only, we are getting the remainder as odd or you will be getting the using Euclid's division lemma, you will get this expression, okay. So, let n be any positive odd integer on dividing, on dividing n by 4, we get q as the quotient and r as the remainder and r as the remainder okay so here n is the dividend 4 is the divisor it is clear and q will be the quotient and r will be the remainder so applying euclid's division lemma Euclid's division lemma, we can write n equals to dividend uh, divisor into quotient that is 4 into q plus r. Now, what will be the possible values of r? 
r can be 0 will be equal to 0 or less than 4 that is the divisor. So, the possible values of r are 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So, now we can write n as n equal to 4 q using these values of r 4 q plus 1, 4 q plus 2 okay or 4 q plus 3. So, since n is an odd number we have already or positive odd integer we have already considered. So, for positive odd integer once you will divide it by 4 you will always get the, the expression as 4, or 4 q plus 1 or 4 q plus 3. So, we will write that since n is n is an uh, odd positive integer therefore it has to be it has to be of the form 4q plus 1 or 4q plus Okay, so once this concept is clear, let us move on to the next sum. The next sum is if n is any odd integer, show that n square minus 1 is divisible by 8. So, here for this sum, you have to apply the uh, concept from the previous sum. So, we have taken the uh, examples of odd numbers as 17 and 19. So, when we have divided this number 17 by 4, so we got the expression something like this 4 into 4 plus 1 and for 19 we got 4 into 4 plus 3. So, if we try to generalize this, uh, this particular expression, we can write 4q plus 1 and this one as 4q plus 3. So, from this we can derive some conclusion that if n is any positive odd integer, so these numbers can be or n can be represented either in as 4q plus 1 or as 4q plus 3. Okay. So, using this particular concept, we are going to solve or prove it this statement. So, we will write let n be any positive odd integer. We know that any positive odd integer can be represented as 4q plus 1 or 4q plus 3. Okay. So, when there will be two cases, case 1 when n is equal to 4q plus 1. So, let us check n square minus 1 putting the value of n equal to 4q plus 1 in this particular expression we will get 4q plus 1 whole square minus 1 that is 16q square plus 8q plus 1 minus 1 this gets cancelled. So, you can take 8 as common so this will be 2q plus 2q square plus q. Okay, I have taken here 8 as common. You can take 8q as common. But the main thing is that from this particular expression, we can say that this n square minus 1, that is n equal n square n square minus 1 is divisible by 8 when n equal to 4q plus 1. Okay, so let us check for 
case 2 that is n equals to 4 q plus 3. So, this becomes as n square minus 1 that is 4 q plus 3 whole square minus 1. So, this becomes as 16 q square plus 2 into 4 into 3 that is 24 q plus 9 minus 1. So, this becomes as 16 q square plus 24 q plus 8. So, if you take 8 as common, so this will be 2 q square plus 3 q plus 1. So, this expression when n is equal to 4 q plus 3 and for this n square minus 1 is also divisible by 8. So, therefore, we can say that n square minus 1 is divisible by 8 when n is a positive odd integer. This is all about applications of Euclid's division lemma. I hope you have understood the concepts that I have tried to explain to you. So, if you like this video, please subscribe to Learn Guru classes, like, comment and share it with your friends and family. So, thank you so much. Bye-bye.